For this project, we will use a BMW E36 Dash cluster, an Arduino Uno, male to female Arduino jumper cables, a DC jack, and a 12 volt power supply. At the back of the cluster, there are three connection sockets that we'll be connecting the wiring to. The first socket has 26 pins. These are numbered from 1 to 13 and from 14 to 26. The second blue socket also has 26 pins numbered from 1 to 13 and 14 to 26. The third black socket has 12 pins numbered from 1 to 6 and 7 to 12. For the wiring, we will use Arduino jumper cables which can plug directly to the pins on the back of the cluster. To begin with, prepare 5 wires for the ground connections. For this we will need 4 wires with female ends and 1 wire with a male end. At the other end of the wires, cut off the connections with wire cutters and strip the ends. Next join the 5 wires by twisting the ends together. Cut a small piece of heat shrink tube and place it over the ends of the wires. Connect the wires and solder the ends to the negative terminal on the DC jack. Then slide the heat shrink over the solder joint and apply heat to shrink the tube. The next step is to prepare the wires for the 12 volt positive power. For this we will need 6 jumper wires with female ends. At the other end of the wires, cut off the connections with wire cutters. Strip the ends of the wires and twist together. Cut a piece of heat shrink tube and place it over the ends of the wires. Then solder the wires to the positive terminal on the DC jack. Place the heat shrink over the solder joint and apply heat. At this stage we will have all the power connections ready on the DC jack with the 5 wires soldered to the negative terminal for the ground connections and 6 wires soldered on the positive terminal for the 12 volt power connections. The next step is to start connecting the ground and power wires to the cluster. By following these diagrams we can make the following pin connections. The first ground connection goes into the first socket and connects to pin 19. The next ground connection to pin 24, then connect 3 12 volt power wires to pins 2, 22 and 23. We can use tweezers to help align the wires while connecting to the pins. On the second blue socket connect one ground wire to pin 3, then the 12 volt power wires to pin 4, pin 5 and pin 16. On the third black socket, connect one ground wire to pin 3, then to complete the wiring, connect the last ground wire to the ground terminal on the Arduino. Next prepare five male to female jumper wires for the connections between the cluster and the Arduino. On the first socket, connect one wire to pin 20 on the cluster, then to pin 2 on the Arduino board. On the same socket, connect one more wire to pin 21, then to pin 4 on the Arduino board. On the blue middle socket, connect one wire to pin 18 and then to pin 6 on the Arduino board. On the black socket, connect one wire to pin 1 and then to pin 5 on the board. Then connect one wire to pin 4 and then to pin 3 on the Arduino board to complete the wiring. The next part is to set up the software. For the cluster to work, we will need to download and install the SimHub software and then use a custom sketch uploaded to the board. With the SimHub software downloaded and installed, open the sketch in the Arduino software which is included with SimHub. Next plug in the USB cable from a PC into the Arduino board. From the tools menu select the correct Arduino board and the communication port. Next click on verify and then click on upload. With the upload successful, plug in the 12 volt power cable into the DC jack to power up the cluster. Open the SimHub software, click on Arduino and then click on My Hardware. Scroll down to the E36 cluster device and next to the custom protocol, click on Edit. Add the custom protocol for the new device and click on OK.
Then click on Apply Now. The next step is to configure the tachometer. Click on the Gauges tab, then set the maximum gauge RPM to 7. Set the number of cylinders to 6, as this cluster is from a 6-cylinder vehicle. Then to test the function of the maximum RPM, click on the Test button. Also tick the box to use full range. Depending on the vehicle driven in game, it will rev past 7000 RPM. With this selected, it will spread the RPM evenly on the gauge for all cars. The BMW E36 Dash Cluster is now set up with working gauges and odometer and is ready to use with your favourite sim games.